dear seven-year-old me. I know life's tough right now because of the chemotherapy you're receiving, but that wrestling thing you've just discovered isn't only going to save your life, but your story will inspire people. The battle you are fighting as you lay in your hospital bed may be making you weak at the moment, but it'll make you stronger in the long run. See, the scars on your body, they still try to limit you when you're doing drills, but you always move past them. I promise you that this all gets better. Unfortunately, the struggle will continue, even after you defeat cancer. There'll be relapses, divorces, breakups, deaths, social pressure, lack of friends when you need them the most. But they're all just sacrifices for this ultimate reward. I promise you, after it's all said and done, you'll be living your dreams. There'll be points in your life when you'll realize that you aren't invisible, despite how many people laugh at your goals or give you weird looks on the street because of the way you look. Long story short, never give up. No matter how much you feel like giving up, the payoff is coming. Stay strong, little buddy. They call you unbreakable for a reason. Avery. P.S. Make your pro wrestling debut in the 2017 Chaotic Countdown. Have fun. I was at the New England Pro Wrestling Academy after a Saturday class. Uh, Chase pulled me aside, asked me if I had my ring gear, my ring name, and he said, well, let's rock and roll. And I never thought I was going to be able to do as much as I did. Yeah, this has been something that I've wanted for a decade. Like, ever since I can remember, like, every hospital visit, every time I was at home, every time, like, I needed something in my life. Wrestling was always that thing, the thing that gave me hope and the thing that now I want to pass on to others and I want to give others hope. I want to show others that they can still succeed and come back from the lowest of lows. Just seeing everybody there, all these familiar faces, all these people that I've bonded with, had connections with over the years because of this amazing pro wrestling thing that I fell in love with at age seven. Like, hmm. this is just, this is just all I've ever wanted. And to be able to see those people and call them friends, not just fans, it's a big difference because in most wrestling companies, come in, there's fans cheering for you, but we're all family here. It doesn't matter if you're part of Ring Crew, if you're the top guy, if you're the champion, if you're the person just starting out, if you're the fan holding the sign. It doesn't matter, we're all family, and it was just awesome to be able to build all these connections with these guys. It's just been so crazy to realize that we are all really important, and to anybody who's starting at the school, uh, I've been at the New England Wrestling Academy for almost two years now. Anybody who's starting there, or has been there for a long time, it doesn't matter. Everybody here respects each other, we're all a family, and it's just been so cool to be able to transform just for one night mm -hmm. from this person who's working security and only doing ring crew to now being able to debut in my first match and be able to live out my dreams. I never thought I'd be able to do it this early, I never thought I'd be able to do it, period. And now that I've made it this far, it's, it's something I'll never forget. I didn't realize how much of an impact uh, these people in ring crew, these people who are helping out shows make. I walk into that locker room, everybody's wishing me luck. I was super stressed this entire day, all tensed up. I just didn't realize how completely stressed out and tense I was all day because this is what I've been building to my entire life. What number are you in the Rumble? Number six. Number six? Yeah. Excited? I'm so excited, man. I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, yeah, man. Long time. Nope, not that many people get to be in the position that you're in right now. I know, man. I'm so thankful. How old are you? I'm 15. 15. You're crazy, bro. This has just been such a big part of my life and such a big moment for me.
embrace that moment. Have fun. It's the case. You know how hard you work for it. Enjoy it. That's me, baby. Uh, coming through that curtain was one of the greatest feelings I've ever had in my life, truthfully. Jamie and Johnny B were like holding me back because I was ready to go out there. Because I, I was just ready to rock and roll at that point. <laughs> and immediately going out there with the mindset that I had, like just seeing everybody there, all these familiar faces, all these people I've bonded with, had connections with over the years because of this amazing pro wrestling thing that I fell in love with at age seven. Like, this is just, this is just all I've ever wanted. to do that. I studied a lot of Chase Del Monte. What does that mean? Seriously, in the ring was just about the least of my worries today. Uh, getting in there was, uh, it was like any other practice, only this time I was just showing what I could do. And it was really awesome because without any of the people there in the ring, outside of the ring, the fans in the back, the fans who are watching this uh, on Fight TV, like, I had waited for this moment my entire life and being in that ring, uh, I just got to show everybody there that they weren't uh, placing a bet on some person who couldn't follow through on their promises. And I told everybody, like, I wasn't going to come into this business unless I could strive to be the best. And if you don't want to be the best, then this business isn't for you. And to say all that and then hopefully, from what I've heard, be able to back it up tonight, it was an awesome experience and something that I will never forget. It's what dreams are made of, and I've waited for this moment my entire life. And to be able to wake up tomorrow and say, well, yesterday I had my first ever professional wrestling match is something that uh, lots of people th thought that I couldn't be able to say. And, uh, you know, I've been down and out many times, and to be able to be in this spot now is just uh, something that I can't even begin to say thank you for. Uh, words don't really describe the gratitude that I feel towards these people. I want to thank everyone who's been wearing a Game On t-shirt, who's been cheering me on from the sidelines, who's been working with me for the past two years, because I know when I came in, I was a scrawny old 13-year-old kid who thought that he could play for a wrestler, and to be able to transform into someone who could actually be able to do this stuff and to actually be able to put in the position where they trust me enough to be in this match, something that I'll never forget and something that is really, really held deep in my heart and something that this is all I've ever wanted. You killed it, bro. Good job, man. Good job, man. Very good job. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Do this. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. See, that sounds so cool. That was, it was awesome. Seriously. Seriously? Yeah, no, it was great. That's some good shit, man. Thank you, man. Good. Uh, that was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, man, you did so good. All the hospital visits, everything at home, like, yeah, this man. thing was just that thing that kept me going. Yep. I've always just, I've always just wanted to, you know, make that kind of change in the world for people, whether that, whether pro wrestling is their thing, whether it's music, no matter what it is, I just want to be that change. I want to show people that there is hope. Mm. This is something that I've always wanted. Just play your mind to it. I, I. I'm sure you can, like, Yo, you're proof, bro. You're proof. Yeah, three more years of high school left, and to be able to say that I made my professional wrestling debut is something crazy. I have no idea. It's just you have to keep working hard. You have to keep being persistent. Mm. That's what I've done for the past two years. That's what I'm going to do for the next 22 years. It doesn't matter. In this business, hard work really does pay off. And in any business for that matter, people need to stick with it. I had a dream that's now become a reality, and that's something that a lot of kids my age cannot say. While most kids are playing video games or uh, studying for a big math test, like this is how I'm spending my Friday night, and I wouldn't want it any other way. So it's definitely something that uh, a lot of kids don't get to say, something they're really grateful for, and something that, again, like something I can't really put into words. It means so much to me. Crazy promo time, being able to get in all this offense. I hit two stunners and a super kick within a minute. It was, <laughs> it was crazy, man. Like, uh, definitely a moment that is gonna be forever etched in my mind, and something that is definitely gonna be with me for the rest of my life.